by calling a special meeting to order, a special council meeting to order. Oh, let me that again. For the village of Royal Palm Beach, it's 3 p.m. Um, Thursday, June 4th, and we've called the special meeting because of uh, a request that came in, and uh, we have that one agenda item. What can I do here? <laughs> Hold on a second. Do you have a, you have a paper copy? <laughs> We had a request come in for approval for a special permit, and I'll explain more about that. But before that, uh, could you please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who uh, was able to make the meeting. I know it was kind of a short notice, but it is an important reason why we're doing this. Um, Diane, please let the record show that we have physically present with us uh, Council uh, Woman um, uh, Radowski and Vice Mayor Valentin, uh, yes, Vice Mayor Hamara. And Councilman Valentis is on is on the phone on the, the, the uh, video. And I'm I, Selena, are you there? Yes. And Selena's there. All right, good. So we have we have everyone present. So let the record show that in yes, that regard. Um, as you know, we're still operating on the COVID-19 uh, uh, rules, and recently the uh, governor gave permission for Palm Beach County to move into phase one. Um, one of the issues that uh, the village manager and I discussed immediately upon hearing that was that we wanted to see what we could do to assist our restaurants uh, in being able to. You know, although they're opening their doors, we felt that 25% or 50% capacity, which is not really going to, to, to probably uh, support them the way it needed to. So uh, the village manager came out back with a concept that will give us uh, the ability to temporarily, temporarily, I just want to be clear about that, provide uh, the capability for restaurants in the village to extend their capacity by using outdoor uh, uh, services. And um, we, him and the staff put together a, a context for that. Um, have you, I'm, I'm speaking to the applicants, you're the applicants, right? Have you read the documentation on that, what the conditions of approval are, and, and, and um, all of the requirements, and was that the proposal plan? Okay. And you, you are perfectly willing to be compliant with that? And are you also aware that, as I just stated, this is temporary? Now, temporary these days could be a while, because we're not in control of this pandemic, and obviously we've got a long way to go, but hopefully this will give you relief. One of the things when Ray and I spoke about that, I, it was a few weeks back, I said, look, if we get applications in and they go through the, re the review process and they get approved, um, I don't, you don't, I don't want uh, those restaurants to have to wait until the 18th when we have our next scheduled meeting. Therefore, that's why we have the special meeting today so that assuming this gets approved by the council, that you can then move forward with implementing that immediately. So that's why we're here, and I once again thank you, everyone. Um, I just wanted to explain the rationale for why we're here at 3 o'clock afternoon on, on, on June, June 4th. Um, also, uh, Diane, please let the record show that, that all the comments and questions that we're asking, I got a yes nod from the from the applicants yes, all right, as they sit in the audience with, with the mask on. Good. All right, so with that said, um, With that said, I'll just read our regular agenda item, which is the approval of a special event permit for Wall Palm Brewing Company, LLC, to allow for temporary outdoor seating at 543 North State Road 7, Suite 103, during normal book business hours due to the COVID-19 occupancy restrictions. Do I have to repeat it? Keith, can you hear me now? Nod your head. Okay. You want me to repeat it? Or is that okay? We're good? Okay. Um, uh, due to the COVID-19 uh, uh, occupancy, occupancy restrictions, the director of PNZ stated the applicant is requesting temporary outdoor seating for the brew pub, and he showed the okay, I don't Okay, I don't know what the rest of it is. So with that, Bradford, are you there? I'm going to enable you now as the presenter to make your presentation. 
Okay. Go. Um, as you stated, the applicants are requesting approval to allow a special event permit in order to provide temporary outdoor seating due to the COVID-19 executive order of governor limiting indoor occupancy for restaurants. Currently, currently the executive order limits the occupancy for restaurant establishments to 50% of the restaurant establishment's maximum occupancy. The applicants are proposing temporary outdoor seating with a total of seven tables and 19 chairs. The restaurant establishment has a maximum capacity of 82 occupants, and the proposed temporary outdoor seating of 19 chairs is below the allowable 50% of the maximum occupancy. The temporary outdoor seating arrangement and location are depicted here on this slide. It complies with the recently established conditions of approval for special event permits for temporary outdoor seating. So with that being said, um, staff is recommending approval. And as, you, as I stated earlier, here is their configuration, which complies with all conditions of approval. So with that being said, Mayor, I'll turn the screen back over to you unless there's a request that I keep the um, outdoor seating configuration up. Okay, uh, you completed your presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, I'm gonna undo you now. So you gotta raise your hand if you need to say something or if there's a question, okay? All right, now I did him. Now what? We're back to previous state. Mr. Mayor, I do have a question. It's uh, Selena. Go ahead. Yeah, we're open. We're, I'm, I'm, help, just hold on one second before you ask your question. Before I like uh, okay. comments from the council with the applicant, do you feel you need to make any comments or do you feel like it was presented properly by Bradford? All right, let the record show that they nodded their head. And Yes, okay, Selena, you're first. Go. I do. If, if Bradford could put that back, the illustration back on the screen, I just wanted clarification of the space. Hold on a second. Let me get Bradford back up. Bradford, did you hear that? I might be able to answer the question without the drawing. All right. What they, they're on. So it's the door and that's what I wanted to clarify then so the, where they have the illustration of the door is that the door going into their facility and all the tables they have set up are on the sidewalk and then that thick line on the bottom is that the curb that then goes to the parking uh, spaces that is correct so what they have is they have the okay you walk out to the sidewalk they put tables against the glass fronts of the store uh, the tables are six feet apart and then they put tables six feet away from those tables with a railing between the table and the parking lot. And then you see the curb of the parking lot and then the, the lands, you'd see one landscape island in that. Okay, so that was the clarification I needed is where it says black fence. That is a temporary fence that they are putting up themselves on the sidewalk, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, and then table one, and table six, do those go to the edge of their storefront property? They don't impede on the businesses next door to them, correct? Correct. It goes to the end of their okay. and the end system? of their leased interior lease space projected out towards the sidewalk. Okay, and then the six foot pedestrian walkway, that is then on that is the parking lot the parking spaces. No, what and what it is is he they put the fence up six feet inside, so there is a six foot walkway between the fence and the parking lot. There's six feet more of walkway, and then there's the tables inside the fenced in area, and then six feet between the tables. Okay, so they are not impeding on any of the parking spaces. Then it is all strictly on the sidewalk. That is correct. Everything is within the sidewalk, okay. underneath the roofed area. And the first table and the fence starts six feet from the face of curb that's the parking lot. Okay, thank you. That's what I wanted clarification from. Thanks. Okay. All right. Any other members of council have questions? Richard, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mayor. No questions. No questions? Okay. I guess the only question I have is, I guess, from a, is a logistics question. Once you set this up, how does this work? Do they have to break it down every night, or they can set it up and leave it, or 
we weren't requiring it be taken down every night. We do have a comment in there about if we have a hurricane warning that it would have to be taken in. Okay. Um, I think their plan was to bring it in every night anyway. Yeah, the fence stays. It's anchored. All right, but you, you kind of leave the table so that you don't okay. have to respace them. Yes. Okay. That's a good idea. That will make sure that they don't get cozy when they should. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right, well, I, I don't have any other questions. Diane, do we have any public comments that came in prior to the meeting? No public comment. Is there anyone on the line who would like to make a public comment? No. I, have, I don't see anything popping up. Would I see something? Yes, there is no public chat. Nothing on chat? Nothing okay, on so chat. since there are no public comments were submitted prior to the meeting and nothing, no one is on the line to make a public comment, I'm closing public comment on this agenda item. Um, if there are no further questions from members on council, then at this time I look for a motion. Make a motion to approve. Wait, I have one more question. It's Selena. Okay, oh, hold on. Sorry. Go ahead, Selena. So my question is, is then if this is just for this one particular establishment, would we, the village, then have just an, a rule that would go across the board to all of our restaurants so that they would all abide by this? Or do we need to approve each individual request as it comes in? Individual. Each individual request. Because each one is a different site plan. Okay. Thank a different you. capacity. Okay. Yes, thank you. Now, Mary, we, we are using the same set of com general comments right. for all of them. I, I mean, there may be a specific one depending on the configuration or the use, but the general comments that I presented to you at the last council meeting are the same general comments we're applying to all the, all the uses, all okay. the requests. So, okay. along that line, though, then uh, there may be unique conditions. Depending upon depending on where site. a certain restaurant is located in the site, we we'll have to look at that hour. Be yeah. able to be compliant with. Right. What our hope is that um, anyone, any of the restaurants that need it, that they can do this because we want them to be able to right. be successful. <laughs> so that, that's the hope. That's the, the bottom line right here. To help help in this in this regard while we're in this situation. Anything else? No. All right. Then I'm back to looking for a motion if there are no further comments from Council. I'll make a motion to approve special event permit uh, with the conditions as uh, stated in the attachment. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Aye. That's okay. I don't think it's you. I think it's just a normal delay. <laughs> You're good. No, any opposed? I hear no opposed. Diane, please let the record. Go ahead. What? Yeah, let the record show that the uh, uh, regular agenda item number one was approved by zero for the special event permit. Good luck. Godspeed. Okay. Now, we have no other business before the council in the special meeting. Does anyone have a question about anything? If not, we stand adjourned. Thank you all again for coming in. Appreciate it.